I'm honored to be here tonight to represent the Elk Grove School District and to be among so many outstanding educators. When I tried to think about what I wanted to tell you about myself tonight, I thought, who better to let you know who I am than my kindergarten students? Because no one's more honest, and I mean brutally honest. <laughs> Just to give you an example of that, what happens in my class every month is we draw a self-portrait of ourselves, trying to progress from a giant head with arms sticking out of it to a head with a body and the appendages placed in the appropriate spot. And of course, everything colored the appropriate color. So we're always talking about the details and how you need to add the details. So of course, I model myself, drawing myself, and talking about how my hair's brown with a little bit of blonde in it. So I'm going to use a brown and a yellow crayon. Child raises his hand. I call on him, yes, honey. Mrs. Glazer, don't forget that black stripe down the middle. <laughs> Note to self, make hair appointment. <laughs> Undaunted, I continue on talking about the details of my face and how I'm going to add eyebrows and eyelashes. I'm wearing earrings. Same child raises his hand. Cautiously, I call on him. Yes, honey, what is it? Mrs. Glazer, don't forget those lines around your eyes. Good job noticing those details, honey. Excellent. Check into Botox next. This is just really a typical day in my class, but really the words that are my favorite words that come from my students at the end of the year are when I ask them to write something nice about every classmate and about myself, and then I compile the list so that every child has 20 nice things to read about themselves. As the lists are compiled, it's very easy to see a theme that runs throughout. You can tell who everyone thinks is funny, who shares well, and who's a little bit mean but sometimes nice. And as I read my own list that the children have compiled for me, the, the theme becomes very clear. So as I share with you tonight some reasons why five-year-olds like their teacher, I'm going to see if you can catch on to the theme. Mrs. Glazer, I like you because you taught me how to read. You give me lots of love and a bandage when I get hurt. You're teaching me to be a great reader. You hug me when I'm sad. You help me learn to read when I didn't think I could. You play jump rope with me. When I don't have a snack, you always share yours with me. You dance with us during nonstop disco. That's big. <laughs> You're teaching me to read. You make me want to be a teacher. Mrs. Glazer, I especially like it when people don't share and you work it out. I like you because you taught me to read. You taught me to read. You taught me to read. Did you catch the theme? As I leave the stage tonight, I just want to take one second to thank my family, my colleagues, my friends, my principal, and the Elk Grove School District. I'm so honored and so proud to represent the Elk Grove School District here tonight.